Like, what was the moment in your life where you felt like you was at your absolute lowest and you felt like things couldn't get any worse, but you managed to find strength in that moment that allowed you to be successful today? And just to extend that question, um, who's someone in your life that I guess you would feel d dedicate your success to? Because I feel like we all have someone that we want, you know, them to be proud of us. Like how for me it was my grandma. So I'm not sure who it would be for you. So, my grandma. So when she was, yeah, yeah. So. Oh my God, that's crazy. All right, cool. Love, love you, grandma. So every gra every gra every Grammys, you know, I would always. Now that my grandma's passed, I, I I think like I wonder what my mom would think when I would take her to the Grammys and and she was my date. Oh. Like wow. did, did my mom was she hurt? But you know, because since my grandma passed, we ain't been to the Grammys. Cause we took my grandma passed in, in 2012, and uh, and that was that was like my lowest point, and um, and so people were like, you ain't you're not gonna take a break from work. I'm like, no. So I, it's kind of weird that, you know, I just took her life and celebrated it, and and just kept going and kept building and and moving, but. In the projects, like when everybody's poor, you one would be like, "Yo, was it that was your poorest, your lowest moment?" Mm. But it wasn't. Oh. Like if you were to say, "Hey, what memories you want? Give me the project memories or give me this music memories," mm. I'd be like, "All right, look, you could take these music memories. Let me keep them project memories because I could build new memories off of the energy of my what I love about the projects. Don't ever take that from me." Yo, I love you, bro. Yo, Will, thank you so much. This is Will I Am. Let them, please let them know, uh, you know, when everything comes out, wh where they could get it. Please let them know, man. So you can get the book right now on Amazon and, uh, or, or, you know, Barnes and & Nobles, and then get the app from, you know, your iOS store or Android. Um, uh, if you want to check out the VR, go get you your Samsung gear. Um, you got to have a Samsung phone, though. I have Samsung phone. You see that, right? All right, cool. Well, you know what I mean? Which is, it means a lot, right? Because, you know, I'm OG Beats. You know, one of the one of the uh, founding members of Beats. People don't know that. It's cool. Wow. Um, so, it's kind of weird that, you know, Apple, I'm family. Apple, so Apple I'm sorry. But y'all don't got a VR. So, if y'all had a VR, I would be doing it here. But now, Samsung, they killing it. Facts. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Yo, check. We dreamt the world here. Yeah. You, you, it, one could be like, well, the market's not big. Well, not. It, it's about to be. Make it big. If it ain't big, you make it big. Real stuff. Like, and this is, if for all the creative people out there, if you didn't know about, you know, wanting to do a VR, I highly recommend you start thinking about worlds to build, right? Because thinking about a 16 bars and thinking about like an out, that's yesterday, bro. Wow. That's yesterday. And this is coming from a legend. Yo, I thank you so much. One love and God bless on your hot 9-7 every day. That's my word. We got game. Will I am. Get it now. Masters of the sun. Peace.